Hello, welcome to Flower Juice. My name is John McDonald, and today we're going to make a really simple arrangement. And this is one of my favourite vases that I, uh, I found in a junk store, and uh, I really liked it. It's so kind of retro. It's just my cup of tea. So what we've got is we've got a good sized vase with a good volume of water when we put water in it. So what I would do is I would fill this up with water, but I want to show you just how to put in like a cross piece that we're going to use to support our material. So this is a dogwood, and I just want to take off these little shoots, and we're looking for a couple of bits. So really what you want to do is we've got our neck here, and we're going to measure across. So we've got a flat end, we'll measure across. So we've got, it's far too big, but now we can start to just cut it on an angle. So now I can bring that in, I can tell it's still too big. Now you've got to be really careful. With using a cross piece, see now I've gone too short, but with using a cross piece you can very easily very easily uh, put too much pressure on your container and if you do that you're going to end up uh, splitting the ceramic so do be careful i have done it and badly enough i actually did it to someone else's container so that's really bad so what we're doing is we're basically wedging that in so by cutting one end on an angle that's allowing you to come in with that so we're going to do two though and what I want to do is I want to bring this one underneath. So really, I'm putting... This one's too long as well. Just take your time. I mean, for videos we try and be quick, because we know everyone's busy. But when you're doing this at home, just be very relaxed. Just take your time and... Uh, you'll get there, no problem. So this is still big. So really this is a, an ideal time of year for using materials like this. Because what you'll find is that they're full of sap, they're nice and springy. It's perfect. So, yeah. Perfect. So as you can see, what we've got here is we've got a cross piece of material. So this is allowing us to have a little bit of support for materials that we want to put in. So what I would do now is I would fill this with water, uh, but just for the purpose of the video, we're not going to worry about that too much. And then our materials. So, isn't this fabulous? This is like an Egyptian onion. And we've got a patch of them growing in the garden, and I just love it. I just think it's so dynamic. And what we can do, we maybe want to take off any foliage that's going to be really under. Yeah, under the water. And what I've done is I've cut this on an angle so that it sits on that side really nicely. So the great thing about this is it's giving us a line. We've got this strong container and suddenly we've got direction. And that is literally all we need for this piece. But what I wanted was to bring in something that's really strong. And I've still got some beautiful flag iris that we had in the garden. And these yellow ones I just thought would be perfect for working with this. So again, we can see where we're going to place it, and I want to cut the angle. So, so from the front, you're really seeing the impact of the flower, but when you see it from the side, the flower is sitting forward. And this also means that when you're looking at it straight on, the flower is actually connecting with the container. Uh, if it was just sitting up, this material separate, uh, but sitting down, it's joining with the container. So I really love this dynamic vase, dynamic piece of uh, foliage, 
and then the dynamic iris as well. But what I would like is to just strengthen that a little bit. So. We're just going to add one or two more flowers just in. And that's it. That's literally it. What you could do, you could add maybe a little bit of a leaf or something as well. Um, we could even add in this, which is quite nice. The choice is yours. You really can have a little play with this, but it just shows you don't need a lot of materials to make something that's a good size, quite dynamic, um, with a lot of visual impact. And I think this would just look great in your home, in the hall, uh, if you've got people coming around. And why not bring in some of your flowers from the garden and really enjoy them? I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you'd like to subscribe, then click here, and we hope to see you back soon.